High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Seth Lugo gets the ball in game three of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with the two and two. Mm. Three and two. Rolled slowly to first. Duda charging this one. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, Matt, they need Matt Carpenter to get back on track. He's really struggled in the power category in the last 10 games. How about zero home runs? You wouldn't expect that from a guy with the kind of power that he displays. Hopefully, this is the game he turns it around. Stepping in, Dexter Fowler. Right at $2.30 with the batting average coming into this one, so it's mostly been a struggle for him. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. You talk about a pitcher's umpire. If you're working both sides of the plate, you have a tendency to be pretty effective with Matthew Ross back there. Look, there's no doubt he's a pitcher's umpire. If I was pitching in this game, I'm sending him a taxi, making sure he gets there safe. And here's a ball hit in the air. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Batting third. First base now with the plate, Matt Carpenter. Carpenter. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. One and one, here it is. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Lugo is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Cardinals zero, Mets coming to bat. It's a rematch of the 2006 NLCS, and it's on the show. Lance Lynn gets the start for St. Louis in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key though is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. At the plate Curtis Granderson he's a long ball threat of course currently number four in the National League home run race. From the windup the one one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And Harold, we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matt, it hasn't been pretty. I mean, the pitching was not there. They didn't play very well. They got blown out the first two games. You just hope you get good quality starting pitching in this one, and you have a chance to play good baseball and maybe win a game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. 
Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And he misses again, ball three. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. Walked a guy, now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. A high fastball is in there. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Swing and a miss, strike three. The th It's right there, and Granderson is out trying to steal second base. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, you know, I love what the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. He had five RBIs in his last game. That's a lot of runs driven in. Opportunities, he's getting them, and he's cashing in. Here's your one Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Lynn's ready. 3-1 on its way. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. Diaz ranging into the outfield. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down quickly. Still no score. Here's Randall Gritchick. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Cardinals. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. You still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon usually. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit in the air to right field. On the move is Bruce. He's there and records the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Garneau. The thing about Travis, not a big guy. He's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Johnny Peralta now, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Runner goes for second. Out of play. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to Bang Bang Place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. In now, Jed Jerko. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. Walker ranging into shallow right, and that ends the inning. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Jay Bruce now. Lifetime in this matchup. 14 hits in 33 at bats. He's also hit three home runs. Here it comes on one and one. And this one's tapped foul at home plate.
A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Fowler ranging back. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. And ready for his first at bat, Neil Walker. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. And Peralta's throw is in time for route number one. Time for a look at the majestic Yachty defensive Smith. alignment for the Cardinals. Nice, nice and behind the plate, Yadi Molina. See all that gold? He's wearing it for a reason. He can frame it. He can catch it. He can call the game. He's got great footwork to make the throws. You better be careful if you lead off first base. He'll stray down there and drill you. He'll get you. He will. I'm telling you. He'll pick you off. Here's Lucas Duda now. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. He's set and the 1 2 pitch. And strike three called on the outside corner. He's earned the right to live out there with the fastballs as that's out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Set to deliver on two and one. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. In his career versus this pitcher, a 3 for 12 line. Lynn comes set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Bottom of the second here with no score. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a two and one. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Three and one now. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And there's ball two now. Look, 2-0 to the pitcher in this situation with the bases loaded. You have to challenge him. Make him swing the bat. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Two and two count. Here it comes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Three-two with the bases loaded. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning.
Heading out towards shallow right. Piscotti is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as it'll be Yadi Molina to lead things off. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. A wave and a miss. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, this is what you want from the guy hitting in front of the pitcher. You lead off the inning with the base hit. Now it sets up the inning. Do you bunt him over? Do you hit and run? Do you allow him to steal? A lot of things can happen now. Stepping into the box, Lance Lynn. And we'll likely see him square around to bunt. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. To Cabrera for one. On to first, and they get them both. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt the guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Standing in now, Aledmus Diaz. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside Kevin out. You know, you hear that terminology, stay inside the Extra ball right there. Problem. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Stepping in now, Dexter Fowler. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Well, Matt, that's a sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Carpenter. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, Matt, this is a situation in last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. A number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Tapped out in front of home. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Cards strand a couple. Home half of the third coming up, no score. So it's back to the top of the order now. And standing in now is the dangerous center fielder, Curtis Granderson. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Set to deal on two and two. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And he's retired here one away. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side. But this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Now here's the pitch. Curveball but a good job to lay off and he works out the free pass. Well he battled to get it to a three two count but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Ready for another chance. Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. The 2 and 1 on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing and a ground ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. It's a two run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. 24 home runs for him on the season as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Bad. I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Into the box now. Jay Bruce. Hey. Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second out. Here's Neil Walker. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Riding in once again, Lucas Duda. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Look into Molina now the 1 1 no offer on that one two balls and a strike. Hey two walks in this inning already so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Well the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. In now, Randall Gritchick, one for one after a single his first time up. Here's the one and one delivery. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. Another one-two delivery. 
Again, he sends it out of play. And he lays off the fastball the way, so it's two and two now. Full count, three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them. A There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, number 13 for him on the year. And with it, the Redbirds have made this a 2 1 game. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. In now Stephen Piscotti and this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. He's set here's the two two takes this the other way to right and that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances well he's got some kind of eyesight he recognized that now pitch that early hit. stayed back Second and just baseman. drove it the other way Johnny Peralta standing in now Johnny Peralta as he sends it on the ground to first there's one on to Duda, a double play. That's one of the hardest double point. plays to turn right there yeah. because of Jericho. the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Into the box, Jed Jerko. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. One run, six hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Now another 2-2. Two -two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Well, that was an impressive swing. A fastball is it'll hit a foul ball home run with it, but it got out in front of it a little bit too much. Timing just a tad off. And Cespedes will put this one away to retire the side. Cardinals do get one back on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Mets two and the Cardinals one. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Look into Molina now the one one. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Lays off two and two now. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Into the box now. Travis Darno hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Hey. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. All even at two and two. Here it is in the air out to right. 
Piscotty's on the move. He's there and records the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting the pitcher. Right. Stepping Lugo. in, Seth Lugo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes on one and one. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Now batting. Here's the center, center fielder, fielder Curtis Granderson. Curtis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 1 and 1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And a neck high fastball that time. Grounded back up the middle. Speared on the dive. He's up with it. The throw in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stoppage short. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Digging in to try it again. Yadier Molina. He singled his last time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Line to the right side. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first down. Lance Lynn. Stepping into the box, Lance Lynn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. So after getting the strikeout on the Come fastball, out. not a bad time Touch to up. check out our pitch I'll speed comparison for our two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm, just a one-mile-an-hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down 2-1. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Piscotti racing back to the track. Gone into the upper tank. Solo shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year. And the Mets have taken a three to one lead. Yeah, Molina was calling for something down in the zone, but he didn't execute the pitch. Nothing for a catcher to do but to tell his guy to shake it and hope he sharpens up his command. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Stepping in now, Joannis Cespedes. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the, the first right out. Number 19, Shane Stepping up now, Bruce. Jay Bruce. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Yeah. 
down the first baseline. And all oh, this is right past him at first and down the right field line. Another hit, another multi-hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Neil Walker. Digging in once again, Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Runners on the move for second. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is line to left. Grichik makes the catch and now they might be able to double them off at first now a throw behind the runner and it's in time to get him and that folks is the danger of the hit and run the Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot we're through five innings here tonight it's now three to one Mets here's Dexter Fowler now he's singled in two trips to the plate thus far line towards center field. Granderson patrolling center makes the play one out. Well this one was squared up pretty good but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. In now Matt Carpenter. And he misses two and one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get out. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Randall Richard. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Standing in now, Rendell Gritchick. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Into the box now, Steven Piscotti. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Cards leave one. They still trail it here, three to one. Kevin Segrist enters to now do the pitching the in the bottom of the sixth. Number 46, Kevin Segrist. Here's Lucas Duda now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here's the 1-1 one one delivery. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. The two and one on its way. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Fowler has a read on it. He's got it one away. Baseman, number five. Digging in and looking for David. more, David Wright. Last time through was a base hit. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. On the move is Fowler. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The Travis. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 
He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ground ball left side. And that's through for a hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. He's been off to a little bit of a cold streak. He didn't hit it hard, but that's a big one to build on. Lugo. Juan Ligaris will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 12, Juan Ligaris. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it in fact lands in the corner. Foul. A runner on first with two away. Ball two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Well, this has been a good at that. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first Your six innings please. of baseball. Hansel now Robles the New York is Mets. on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Ansel Robles. Here's Johnny Peralta now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. One and one count. Here's the pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Here's Jed Jerko now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. That's a great pitch right there. A fastball low and away right on the knees on the corner. That's why you get a late swing right there. Really impressive. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Oh Bobby man he's four. been absolutely Catcher, getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Stepping in now, Yadier Molina. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. And this one's taken for ball four. So good work there as the Redbirds have got a two out base runner. Well, when you go with a the slider there on the a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball right, and swings right. through it. Didn't work Pitching out that way, though. Lewis. He lays off Number and gets 32. the free pass. Matt Adams. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One it's left for the Cardinals. For the Score holds. It's three to one. Your Brett Cecil gets the call now from the pen the to take over on the mound Number and start 21. the home seventh. Brett Cecil. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. A 
Oh and two here it is. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 22 on the year and the Mets open things up here. It's now four to one. This guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. In now, as Dribble Cabrera. This is in the air out to straightaway center. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first out. The left fielder number 50. Yoenna Cespedes Yoenna. will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two run homer that had him rolling early on. One out, nobody on. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch, and a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Standing in now, Jay Bruce. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Now the pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh-oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. We'll march on to the eight. It's now a four to one Mets lead. Digging in once again, Aledmus Diaz. He flew out in his last at bat. From the windup, the one one pitch. And that misses two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, this is still a tight ball game, Matt, but this is a big at bat. You got the leadoff guy up. He's got three balls on him now. He's got to work to get on base. This is where on base percentage counts. Whoa, that ball was closed. Whizzed right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Four to one our score as we give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starters. Here's Matt Carpenter. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Your attention please. So they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Ready with the one and two. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. 
Cespedes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Randall Gritchick. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important for them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Addison Reed takes over now here with the runner the at first and two Number gone in the inning. Addison Reed. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And another foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. He'll try again one two and a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. Cards leave one. They trail it four to one. Trevor Rosenthal plate. is on now to pitch out of the bullpen north. in the bottom half Number of the eighth. 44, Trevor Rosenthal. Neil Walker will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Look into Molina now the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The one and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Piscotti is there and he makes the catch for the out. The first baseman number 21. Lucas. Here's Lucas Duda now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here it comes on one and one. And that one stayed too low apparently. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing uh, you don't want to do, five. you don't want to run the count Amen. to three balls and two strikes. Right. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Right over the middle, knee high. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it 4-1. to one. Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen, the hoping to finish this one Number off here in the top of the ninth. Hey, Ready once again, Stephen Piscotti. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who'll try to close the door in this one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Grounded to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's Johnny Peralta now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone all the way into the upper deck. So a solo shot here for Johnny Peralta. 
Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Cardinals have cut the deficit to two. It's now 4-2 now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Into the box now, Jed Jerko. Good action on the sinker, one and two. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box. Yadier Molina and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two a sold out crowd of forty one thousand eight hundred get to their feet now in flushing and that sliders almost in the dirt has them down to their final strike here it comes flying toward right center and that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit and if you're the manager you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight, so they lived to fight some more. Greg Garcia will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 35, Greg Garcia. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him, and the Mets make it six straight victories now as this one is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Four to two, the final score tonight. Seth Lugo with his fourth win this season. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save, his 26th. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr.